The fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of High Q. Now, before I get into this reaction, make sure y'all look at the links down below. You can find my Patreon, where I am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available. You can find my Discord. Come on in and join our little community. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, Friday, Saturday, Sundays at 12 p.m. PST on this channel right here. I'd be live streaming. I'd be live streaming. I'd be playing games. It's random. It's fun. It's super chill. Very, very uh, relaxing, laid back vibes on that live stream. So check me out during the weekends. Come say hi in the chat. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so we are currently in the middle of the Katasuno versus Alba Josai run back. And Yamaguchi just made so many plays for us. You know, I'd say in that second set, I'd name him the MVP of that second set. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even though we did lose the second set, we weren't able to close it out. Um, but at least, at least we're, it, it grants us a third set. A third set full of fire, full of, you know, reactions, defense, fast attacks, Oikawa, Mad Dog, you know what I'm saying? So I am grateful for that. However, I do want us to win. I am on Karasuno's side, obviously. But, um, I mean, we're already getting a really fucking fire-ass match, so I'm pretty satisfied as, as it is. But I want Karasuno to win. You know what I mean? But Yamaguchi, he did his thing. He did his jump float, and apparently, he knows how to aim the jump float. Now, that sounds extremely hard, because not only... I mean, it's already hard aiming the serve as a regular serve, even just like, you know, if you're trying to aim it just regularly and then jumping and then floating, that's like triple the difficulty. So the fact that he was able to aim for the top of the net, that shit is lethal. Cause he, if he can master aiming this jump float, he can aim it to the back. He can aim it to the front of the net. He can he can aim it wherever he wants. You know what I'm saying? He, he can aim it to the weakest person on the enemy team. Like, dude, that server is for real. Like talk about a clutch pinch server. Yeah, if that's his role, I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I really love how, you know, all of the all of the starters have their roles, right? Um, but also, people on the bench, they're trying to get their roles too. We got the freaking the, the sub captain. We got the pinch server. Like, dude. And, and I mean, in, in sports, they say your team is as strong as your bench. You know what I'm saying? Because when a fucking main player goes out, which happens very often due to injuries, stress, and whatnot, um, or or just fatigue. You got your fucking subs coming in, and, and if they can perform, that's fucking awesome. So I loved how they shined Yamaguchi last episode, um, but his job is done. You know, uh, unfortunately, that jump float serve is, serve is kind of a kind of a one time deal per match. You know, because that once the enemy gets used to it, or once the opponent gets gets used to it, it becomes it becomes kind of null and void. So now we are into the third set. Let's hope for the best, Karasuno clutch it the fuck out Tsukushima blocked that shit Nishinoya received that shit and Daichi and of course Kageyama and Hinata do your fucking fast attack thing you know what I mean um but yeah let's go ahead and get into it man this is Q season 2 episode 23 like subscribe This fucking sniper rifle serve right here. God damn, dude. <laughs> nice wipe, Tanaka. Fucking legend. Damn. Neck and neck, bro. Neck and neck. It's all about momentum. Who can grasp the first few three, four point momentum, you know what I'm saying, and take it home? Oh, what? Say what? What was that? That shit had English on it. Whoa. That was dope. I don't know what Saki had. I thought you just had a power serve. <laughs> Damn. 
Ooh. <laughs> Shut him down. Let's go. Tsukishima, the block god. ジュロクバンを狙ってブロックアウト取ったり、クロスにブロックいないのに、ジュロクバンのいる狭いストレート側をあえて抜いたりしてた。マジか。気づかなかった。ジュロクバンも対抗して、田中のいるストレート側に打
分かってるよ先生うちのチームの総力はこんなもんじゃねえよおい母さんもう一本ないさすまんすまんすまん押し込め近代人ちょっとゴーソクシーマンバッケやあおいさあ影山アジャスティル近すぎないかほぼネットの真上だぞ誰もいねえうまいだおう Love it Oh, look at that thumbnail. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Sorry. Eating my trail mix as I watch this. Mmm, yum. Um, okay, so. Well. This match is so good. <laughs> I love how it's just a true back and forth. Like the beginning of the episode, it was us having the momentum. With the whole Tanaka and Asaha,、uh, Asaha Asahi、uh, points. Then it switched back momentum to Alba Josai because we got the little mad dog、uh, backstory. He came back in calm, cool, collected, scored a couple points for them.、Um, and then now we're getting into,、uh, you know,、uh, freaking Hinata and Kageyama doing their fucking duo thing.、Um, Kage so Kageyama, not only has he learned to kill the ball in the air, Apparently, he adjusted. Now, he, he on the spot in the in the fraction of a second adjusted to Hinata's,、um, you know, inaccurate jump. So that was pretty fire. You know what I'm saying?、Um, and then now he's becoming, you know, what a setter is supposed to be、uh, adjusting to the spiker, right? So that's, that's pretty awesome there.、Um, so let's talk about Mad Dog a bit. Mad Dog is your classic case of the problem child. You know what I'm saying? Even more than Kageyama was. Kageyama definitely has, has grown out of that by far. You know, and, and it didn't take him that long either. But Mad Dog is your classic case of a problem child.、Um, you know, not only in a,、um, in a sports setting, sports team setting, but just in general. You know, he doesn't get along with anyone, right?、Um, but you can clearly tell he's passionate about volleyball, right? So passionate that when you're on his team and you fuck up, he's going to yell at you and let you know, maybe even fucking throw some blows at you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he, we can't deny that he definitely loves volleyball. He even practiced when he wasn't in, in team practice for Awa Josai. He was practicing somewhere else because you know, he, just didn't get, he just didn't get along with his team. You know what I'm saying? So, that is, I mean, that's pretty much self explanatory as it is. And thanks to that random fucking dude that、uh, gave, us, uh, <laughs> that gave us some uh, very, uh, words, uh, very nice words of wisdom,、uh, did explain uh, uh, that a team. You know, Abu Josai could be the perfect team that could handle Mad Dog. Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we we already have Kageyama and, Hin, and Hinata to deal with on Karasuno. I don't know if we could deal with Mad Dog like that. He'd just be fucking pushing everyone, everyone around. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. Abu Josai does have,、uh, you know, the certain amount of people to、um, keep him level headed, keep Mad Dog level headed. And that's pretty awesome. I like, I really like how they're, how in this anime, they're not afraid to highlight the. Opposing team, you know, they're not afraid to do that, you know what I'm saying? And I, I really like that. I really like that. Like, not only do I like the Katasuno characters, but now I'm like growing attachment towards, you know, freaking Oikawa, Mad Dog,、uh, even freaking Kindaichi. <laughs> like, that's crazy. How are they able to do that? That's so good. That's so good.、Um, but yeah, man, this match is fire. The third set is neck and neck, and the momentum, I mean, It may be shifted towards Karasuno just a little bit after that,、uh, that broad jump fast attack, but not by much. It's very, very close. And at this point, who wants it more? That's what it's gonna, gonna come down to. And I, since we lost last time, I know we want it really, really bad. So, good luck, everyone.、Um, but yeah, man, that's gonna be it for this、uh, video. Before I end this reaction, though, make sure y'all look at the links down below. You can find my、um, Patreon, where I am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available. You can find my Discord. Come on in and join our little community. You know what I'm saying? And of course, Friday, Saturday, Sundays at 12 p.m. PST, I am on this channel right here, live streaming. I'm playing games, super fun, super chill, laid back vibes.、Uh, so come on in during the weekend and come say hi in the chat. You know what I mean? Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all for the next episode of Haikyuu. All right, peace.